evil can evil from Panic Attack. Do now. Oh, oh, that is the Not like that, but flipped up by the two. Electrically operated lifting spikes could be in danger. Robot ears, stand by. Captain Kim Davis, Kevin Pritchard and Lee Wickham with Panic Attack. Panic Attack has a top speed of 10 miles an hour. We have some pretty flashing lights and some wicked force. Three, two, one, activate. And there's an extra trap in the waiting here for our competitors, the ram rig just in front of the seesaw. It's a killer lot there at the top of the picture. Panic attack, nervy as the ram rig squeezes in. But now, onto the seesaw. Has it got enough power? Killer lot coming in, but holding the seesaw down! Oh, that's demonic, and that's evil can evil from panic attack, but dead metal's waiting. And in comes Shunt as well with a deadly axe, piercing and punctuating and puncturing. That spider of panic attack! What are they going to do now? Oh, oh, that is the eye of the spidey! And this looks deadly! They're stopped! No wonder Shunt's happy. And that was the tactic used by Killalot. Hold the seesaw down. Had to fly through the air and then in trouble. But not a bad run, 10.8 metres. Since when are the hand robots had machine guns? That looked very painful, right in the technical bits, wasn't it? Yeah, it's uh, a bit nasty, isn't it? <laughs> it's all very well being called panic attack. The thing is, you shouldn't panic when you're halfway across that seesaw and just throw yourself <laughs> on the no, side. Well, there was a robot underneath it. It wasn't going to go down, so it was either go back or try and jump over them. That's what Look what was about. behind us. <laughs> yeah. so one robot is down, another will be eliminated in the trials. Now, when you think of sumo, you think of the honour. The tradition, the slapping of talcum powder onto oriental backsides. But this sumo isn't about overgrown men wearing nappies. It's about nothing plump, rotund or portly. It's about lean, mean, fighting machines trying to bash each other's brains in. Each of our competing robots will go head to head with the house robot. The one that lasts the least amount of time before being pushed over the edge will be chopped up into sushi. Panic attacks up first and he'll be grappling with shunt. So let's slap the fat and let the trials begin. Why the spider? Well, our name's Panic Attack, and we uh, ran a competition in my school where I work. And the year seven people came up with the design because when she thought about panicking, she thought of spiders, so that's the design she did. So what's her name and how old is she? She's Leanne King, and she's in year seven in Fontana School. Hello, well done. <laughs> You'll see it get trashed. I don't think so. Three, two, one, activate. Kim Davis, the driver, wants to be an F-15 fighter pilot. Here he comes in for the kill. Bandits, tally-ho! Ooh, in comes Shunt to try and spin it away. And Shunt goes instead! Excellent. He gave us one in the eye last round. This time, he took it. Big time. <laughs> well done, lads. It looks like you're through to the next round. <laughs> semi-final. Whirling Dervish against Panic Attack. Two very different robots in the next battle. The Panic Attack team, what's going to be your technique? Uh, just go in there and push him around the ring if you can. Try and get him into a house robot and they deal with him. So, Whirling Dervish? It's not really in bits, is it? It's just... It, it's... it's just being charged up. All we've got to do is put the lid on and it's all working. Good, so it's better than it looks. Um, tactics? Any? Oh, we'll stand in the middle and whirl the, the whirling bits, I think. Three, two, one, activate. Panic attack, the faster, heavier, but smaller of the two. Has to avoid those flailing lumps of metal. Has to avoid the circular saw blade underneath if Whirling Dervish gets up on top like that, but flipped up by the two electrically operated lifting spikes could be in danger. Has to avoid the PPZ, don't forget. The perimeter patrol zone guarded by our own house robots tugged and pulled and flipped, and now in comes Dead Metal with those horrible pincers dragging it back in to the kill. Mmm! Burning rubber! In goes Dead Metal. He loves it. We all love it. 
That's the crazy world of Robot Wars. And in comes Shunt, and there's the camera, and there's the pickaxe. And this looks deadly now for Whirling Dervish. Have they given up the ghost? Let's see what's happening to Panic Attack. Oh, look at that! Damage caused to Sergeant Bash! His fan club does not look amused. And Matilda may want revenge on behalf of the house robots. The dodge by Panic Attack, but Bash looks in real trouble there. And I think Panic Attack has done enough because the Whirling Dervish team have virtually retired. Immobilised and out, surely. Well, lads. What went wrong there, then? Um, well, I think it's rather obvious we had the wrong way up, and I think we just had a retread on the tyre, but never mind. Unlucky, lads. Panic attack. Not only did you bash Whirling Dervish, you also bashed Sergeant Bash. Yeah, well, we were after Shunt because we owed him, but he, he seemed to keep away from us. Brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. The boys from Wales are Welsh Dragons, panic attack through. Hey. <laughs> Welcoming the heroes. Everybody loved you. Not only did you have a good battle with the Whirling Dervish, but also you got your revenge, didn't you, on the house robots? Oh, yes, we did. I thoroughly enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> An all Welsh final panic attack against Disruptor. Three, two, one, activate. The saw against the lifting spikes. Panic attack lower. Lower centre of gravity, getting in underneath that saw, though. How low can the saw go? Seemed to me it couldn't get it down to create damage there to Panic Attack. And I think the lifting spikes, made from hardened steel, 12 inches long, could cause problems here. Panic Attack trying to push Disruptor back towards that pit there, and again, using the four-wheel drive towards the pit of oblivion. Disruptor on the edge here. They want the end. Down, 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 out, and the end is nigh. And come for Disruptor. A spinning spider's the web. Of panic attack. Well, you've won your heat. You're through to the series semi-finals. Are you feeling? We we're feeling great. Tell me, what was your game plan on this game? We wanted to get the spikes on the front up underneath his bodywork so he didn't have any traction at all. Either then into the house robots or into the pit, worked a treat. You seem to have some problems sort of lifting him up though, didn't you? Well, we put the forks under, but it was nothing inside the bodywork at all at there, so it was just going up. Couldn't pick him up at all. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause! <laughs> well, if you need a punch in the hair restores, you're too old for Robot Wars. Good night. Craig.